Hey Gary, just came in to double check because we have our little itty bitty puddle here. You can see it. There. I tightened up all of our water pump bolts and made sure they're tight. Um, I did notice you can see this little trail here down the side of the pump. It appears it could be from this heater hose or above it. So I tightened up the hose clamp on this heater hose. I actually tightened up both hose clamps on the upper radiator hose and the lower radiator hose as well, along with the crossover hose here. You can see it back in there. There it is. It's hard to see with the camera, but let me get it from this side. Right there, the little bypass hose. So got that all done. You can see this little bit of water here. And there's a slight trail here on the expansion tank. Now this, we did not do the thermostat and we didn't pull this off when we did the water pump or anything else. That stayed put. Just in case, let's run it a little bit. It's dry underneath here, so that's promising to me. But... We're gonna run it a bit. I'm gonna top it back off with coolant. Um, everything else has been tightened. If it leaks again, our expansion tank here might be the culprit. And usually when those start to leak and split, it is usually on the flange itself down here at the bottom. Or or the hose fitting is brazed. But that wasn't part of our project. So tightened up everything that we've handled. I'm gonna top it off with coolant now. I'm gonna check everything else and then uh, go from there. All right, so I topped the car off with coolant. After getting everything nice and tight, let her run, okay, got her up to temperature, let her burp with the cap off, so it didn't vent a little cooling out, made sure everything is in order there, had it dribble a little bit out of the overflow tube, as you can see, from our little puddle down there, that's just been on it burping, so now it wipe everything down while it's still running, make sure everything's nice and dry, and clean. Let it run for a few more minutes and let it build pressure. And that way we can check and make sure we have no leaks. Alright, we're up to camp. There's no trail at the heater hose. Everything seems nice and dry. Got one little drip. That's out of our here. See our little hook. Just a little dribble. Which is normal now that we've refilled everything. There's a little bit in our overflow hose. That's it. I'm going to shut her off right now. And I have the key and the code and everything for here. I will come over in a few hours when she cools down and check on her status.